got there, Tom. I don't know. Look what arrived in the mail. Woohoo! <laughs> you know, this is really cool, um, but it doesn't mean anything compared to all of you guys watching us and, and really liking what we do. Yeah. So we can't thank you enough. And Relationships are more important absolutely. than a plaque, but we are excited to get this. The moment's finally here. Finally! It did seem like it took forever. Yeah. It was long. And so I'm so excited to finally see the names. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for following our journey and subscribing. It's been over three years. Can you believe Has it? Has it been over three years? I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, we've had so many crazy adventures and many of you have been along the ride since the beginning, <laughs> watching every single one of our videos and we so appreciate. And all of our mistakes. A few. A few. Just a few. Here and there. Mistakes. We want you to learn from them. Absolutely. And we've received the kindest, nicest comments, emails, yes. messages from you guys. We're and so grateful. Very grateful. I mean, personally, I've always wanted to be a public speaker. Yep. And that never really worked out. And so I, I love connecting on YouTube with you guys, sharing our you know, how to's, but also again, our, our mistakes and things that don't work out. Right. I've never wanted to be a public speaker. In fact, I get nervous every time we record. I have to drag <laughs> you out here to come on the camera. Uh, it still makes me nervous, sorry. But if you can tell I'm nervous, I am. But people love seeing you on camera. <laughs> oh, so. Still, after all this time, I'm still nervous every time. But it helps having people like you that leave such awesome comments and are so Ab encouraging and knowing that we're helping you makes it worth it. Absolutely. And a small way of saying thank you was our huge giveaway. Yeah. We just wrapped up. 36 of you won. <laughs> what? One of over $7,000 worth of prizes. So cool. That's wanna... crazy. I'm so excited for all of yeah, you. Yeah, I want to thank our friends and vendor partners for putting up yes. all of this, especially Lippert, Grand Design, E-Trailer, e and so many others. Yeah. And we have a blog post with all of the winners' names because we won't read all 36 <laughs> of them right now for you guys. Yeah, so head over there to take a peek at all those names and see if you're on it. Right, and we will be contacting all of you within the next few days with instructions on how to get your prize. Yeah, congratulations to those of you that won. And thank you to the other ones that participated. And I hope most of you found the secret words for the entry. Yeah, some of you had fun with that, and I'm glad you had fun. A few of you struggled with the secret codes, and those are also in the blog post because some of you I know are dying to find out <laughs> what they were. Yeah. And thank you so much for those of you that tagged us on Instagram uh, with your photos out there enjoying yourself or sent us an email. We so appreciate that. Yes. I also want to mention that I'm so grateful for all the encouragement for Logan. He just, as a quick update, he did uh, have a sleep study at the Mayo Clinic in um, Rochester, Minnesota. And he was diagnosed with a sleep disorder. They're still looking to see if he has a couple of others. So there's going to be more sleep studies in the future. It's kind of a long road to diagnosis. But I want to thank you for all your encouragement. And uh, he's really appreciated it and all the t-shirts that you guys yes and yes the be kind shirts which we don't have on right no, now we haven't but, enjoyed the journey ones. but everybody's correct when they keep writing these are the softest shirts and they're ordering more we love them too and thank you so much for your support yeah we really really appreciate that and i think we'll have some footage of that sleep study coming up a few videos yep, and a couple videos from now yep. and also thank you for all of those of you that have emailed us pictures of your shirts and tagged us and we're gonna show some of those people right now. Thank you. Yeah, just a few of you, but thank you to all of you that have done that. Yes, thanks. And so with that, let's get on to the celebration. Woo!
it's so pretty. I, I don't want to eat it. Oh my oh gosh. My Check my this God. out. Look at that. It's like stuffed this peppers is awesome. over there. How oh. fun. Yeah. If you happen to be the next camper here and you get the free wood that we left behind, uh, definitely leave us a comment or uh, actually email us. That would be awesome. And well, unless, I don't know, maybe Jason and Ray will use it. <laughs> I'm not sure. We've had a great time here uh, at Elkhart Campground with our friends, Chad and Tara, they left yesterday. Jason and Ray are not leaving for a few more days. We need to get on the road. We've got medical appointments in Minnesota. Mine are like next week in just a few days. Uh, Logan and Sheree are getting groceries, supplies, uh, dropping off some stuff at Goodwill. We gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna do one more quick look here. Plaza, and this is what it says. Pay online, pay online. It's like, what? Why is this not just closed off? Super rough roads going around the uh, Chicago area here. And I'm just gonna check the tires while I wait for Cherie and Logan to show up. I'm just gonna take a quick look here and make sure the roads are so bad, this thing has been bouncing all around. Well, everything looks good. Tonight might be our first harvest host in a long, long time. And I've actually got to get some water. So one of the things that I do for water sources is to look on the Campendium app because it will show dump stations and usually when there's a dump station, you've got fresh water available.
making a stop at a Love's and I don't even need any fuel. Hopefully it's, it's going to have mile. some water. So I'll hang back here if you want to go look around, please. Why don't you get in with us and help us figure this out? It's a big Love's. So now to find the dump station, see if it has fresh potable water. I'm gonna take a ride with these guys. So we can scout it out. Well, we couldn't find it in the truck parking area, so it should should be there. I don't know why. Maybe it's over here in the regular auto zone area. This is the dump station right here, but we want to have drinkable water. You never want to drink that water right there because that's only for flushing, and this, this is pretty flooded here. <laughs> So now we would look hopefully down a little bit. Usually away from it, there'll be a clean drinking water or potable water. Uh, so hopefully it's gonna be here. <laughs> Doesn't look promising. Nope. Well, I think we're coming up empty handed here. I could almost taste the water. <laughs> well, like there should be water by the dog park, right? Right. How are they gonna water the doggy? So I'm trying to ask the attendant here if it's drinking water because I, I don't see any signs for it. Yeah, is uh, the water out here uh, safe for drinking? Like, okay, so it, it is safe. Yeah. So we are good to go here. Uh, there is water at these diesel pumps and it is regular tap water. We won't drink it, but it's safe to shower with. Even though there's a hose right there, I don't trust that hose because you don't know what people have done with that, so I'm using my own water hose. Coming in at just a little tiny bit of light left here at a harvest host. Pretty level, but not like completely level. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect and level. We'll let the auto leveling do its trick. This is our first stay at a harvest host with all three of us together and not having full hookups. So a little bit different experience with Logan on board, uh, getting to see what it's like to not have all the power and water that you want at one time. But we made it through the night. This is a nice location, Glen Aaron Golf Course in Janesville, Wisconsin. So. Yeah, it's a cool, foggy morning, and uh, we'll have to head inside and check out what the restaurant has to offer for breakfast this morning.
pretty crazy at this golf course here in Janesville, Wisconsin. Saw kind of a emergency looking helicopter flying around and a long, maybe 25, 30 uh, emergency vehicles going to the local airport right over here. Cars are being stopped trying to leave the golf course. But uh, Shuri just looked it up and Vice President Pence just landed here for a campaign stop. Pretty crazy. There goes Vice President Pence leaving Janesville, Wisconsin. So it's my first night boondocking. Uh, we stayed at this golf course. Uh, apparently it's called Harvest Host. Uh, it's pretty cool. You know, lots of activity this morning with all the golfers, but it wasn't too bad. You just gotta be able to take military style showers. So wake up this morning and it's really foggy and we're right next to a golf course, which is different from what we're used to over the past couple weeks. Feels like we're out in the middle of the country and there are sirens going everywhere. Oh, and last night we came in late, so we didn't see that we're next to an airport, so a lot of noise. Um, we also got locked in because it's a gated golf course, but it was an interesting stay. I got some good sleep, so we're ready to head on out. Hey, sweetie. Hey. You ready to go? Yep, are you? Mm-hmm. Okay, drive safe. You too. We only have a couple hundred miles to go today. Yep, less than 200. All right, so, sounds good. We're gonna be day. in Wisconsin. Yeah, <laughs> just the other side of Wisconsin. Yeah, this was an interesting spot. Planes, trains, drag racing, and... Uh, Vice presidents flying yeah. in. Who knew? <laughs> Who do? <laughs> and golf. <laughs> Out in the middle of nowhere. Right. In country land. <laughs> and actually, this was a really great spot. Yeah, so, uh, it really was. Great lunch here at yes. the Harvest Host. Yeah, Harvest Host isn't one that we've mentioned in a while, but it's a membership fee around, I think, $100 a year, maybe less. But you get to stay at about thirteen or 1400 Unique and unusual spots all over the country. Uh, wineries, breweries, golf courses, museums and uh, it's actually one of our favorite spots to boondock. So we'll put a link down below. You can check out Harvest Hosts uh, as you're uh, going around the country. I like it just because it's a little more uh, private. It's not like your overnight stays at a rest stop, Walmart or Cracker Barrel. It's like, um, yeah, it's more private and quiet. I don't think we've ever had another RV next to us at any of our stays. No, oh, in the Christmas tree farm. There was an RV next to us. That was the owners. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> but yeah, so many unique places to stay. Totally. Yeah. All right, let's hit the road. Oh, hey, you guys could just put the slide in every day so I don't fall down again. <laughs> Bingo. Shall we pause for a, a picture? Is, will a picture work here? I think so. I'll put it up here in front of your face too. Like this. Let's go for a dip. No. <laughs> All you damn YouTubers need to get off my yard. <laughs> <laughs>
on the star. 